Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at an action-packed weekend of sports. We'll also take a look at the superb turnout at Dominion Dance Marathon. All this and more on this Monday, February 13th, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Dawson Aaronsdorf. And I'm Courtney Delfordin. Let's take a look at your announcements for today. Thanks to the generosity of many in our community, the Dance Marathon was able to raise $2,667.80 for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, including Unity Point Health, Sioux City, and the University of Iowa Children's Hospital in Iowa City. Special thanks to Presley Cockenbright for stepping up in such a big way to lead this effort. Orders are still being taken in the office for daffodils. Proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society. Orders will be taken through next Friday, February 17th. Makerspace will be up and running this week. Use FlexiSket to schedule yourself in for Tuesday and Thursday. There will be a meeting for all 9th through 12th grade Pegasus members this Thursday, February 16th during common time in Ms. Anders' room in the Media Center. There will be a meeting for junior SAC officers and their guests on Tuesday, February 14th at the start of 5th hour in Mr. Holman's room. And now let's send on over to look at today's weather. Alright, thanks guys. Look at your weather for today. It'll be a high of 46 and a low of 28 degrees and it'll be very sunny out. And then going until tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 20 degrees Fahrenheit with a 30% chance of precipitation. And then on Wednesday, it'll be sunny again with a high of 40 and a low of 28. So that's a look at your weather for today. Back to you guys. Taking a look at sports for today, it was an exciting day for the Spirit Lake Park wrestling team on Saturday as six wrestlers punched their tickets to this week's state tournament and took the team district championship in Spencer. John Tuttle, Kyler Reek, Dakota Powell, Kyler Dunn, and Isaac Dixon ended the day atop the podium in first place. Joe Waters placed second to also qualify for the state tournament. First round of state matches for the Indians will be Thursday night beginning at 6. We will have updates of the tournament on today's show throughout the week. The girls basketball team got through their first round of regional game with a win over MOC on Saturday night. The Indians held a 21-14 lead after the first quarter and went into halftime with a 30-22 edge. It was a low scoring third quarter for both teams, but the Indians held on, outscoring the Dutch 17-8 in the second half, getting the 47-30 win. Anna Brown paced the Indians with 26 points and Brooke Harrington had 12 on the night. Macy Smith and Aaron Dow each had 6 rebounds. Next up for the Indians is top-ranked Sioux Center. They will play Wednesday night at 7 o'clock in Sioux Center. In the boys' basketball Friday night, the Indians suffered a setback in a loss to Sioux City West, 61-68. It was a tight battle throughout the first half as West held a slight edge at halftime, 20-19. A huge 28-point fourth quarter pushed the Wolverines to win as they held the Indians just to 14 in the final quarter. Spirit Lake goes into their final regular season game tomorrow night with a 16-4 record. They host Jackson tomorrow night. The Boji Mammoth hockey team took the ice this weekend and fell short in two games. Sioux Center came to town Friday night and got the 8-3 win and on Sunday the Mammoths traveled to Mitchell, South Dakota where they lost 5-2. The team will travel to Aberdeen, South Dakota this weekend for two more games. That is Look at Your Sports for today. Back to you guys. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.